Welcome back, Taurus. How's everybody doing? I hope well. I want to take a minute and say happy Thanksgiving for all who celebrate to you and your families. I am so extremely grateful for this journey on YouTube. The friends, you know, and the people that I have met along the way throughout this journey here. Um, and I just want to tell you I love each and every one of you. Those that are new to my channel, again, I am grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome. We are going to get right into when you saw the title of this video and the picture, the person that popped in your mind, messages from them to you. So do take a minute, channel in their energy. I'm going to make it as personal as possible. Please remember that it is not a one-to-one. -one. But all the time, I pull from multiple decks to make it as personal as possible. I'm giving away two free personal readings. You have a couple days to still take advantage of the November giveaway. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the monthly giveaways. This month it's two readings, those two people that are randomly chosen over the weekend around the 29th and the 30th um, will be able to tell me what they would like their reading to be in regards to. All you need to do, new and returning subscribers, is leave the word grateful down below in the comment section. December will be a brand new giveaway and it will be multiple love readings. All right, so let's get into your reading. For Taurus spirit and the person that they are channeling towards me. For Taurus and the person they are channeling towards me. All right, give your relationship a chance. Now, this could be somebody that you're crushing on, somebody that you're in distance from, um, someone that you have just met, you're wondering where this connection is going. Work on your partnership. Everything takes work. Nothing comes easy. And would it be worth the while if it came easy? So allowing your heart to be open, allowing your heart to be, you know, somewhat vulnerable to what's coming towards you. Do you have to let your guard down immediately? No. It comes with trust. Giving your relationship a chance and then loving yourself. You have to love yourself first. No one is going to love you the way you love yourself. I just had a coworker say, you know, and you know, it was just in conversation. She said, you know what? I'm really happy with my body. I'm really happy with the way I look. And it kind of made me happy for her. Because she's been struggling. But that was the first sign that she showed me that she's working on herself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Also, when you love yourself first, you're showing everyone else that comes towards you that you're worth it. You know, that you have that respect for yourself. What you will, you know, lower that sword for not compromising for just anything. All right, Taurus, let's see what else we have. This is the image. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. I always say that in my readings. The heart is the gateway to the soul. You have to follow your heart. If you don't, you're always going to have what ifs. And may your heart get broken along the way. Absolutely, there's a chance. But if you don't follow your heart in that moment, you'll always have questions. All right, now we're going to get deeper into the messages that your person has for you, Taurus. And again, remember, multiple decks I'm pulling from, so there's going to be multiple messages. We have outer turmoil. I feel my life is falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. But the one thing that felt right was you. The one thing that was right, that felt right was you. It's like this person had a lot going on in their life. But when they distanced themselves from what, from what they did have going on and they allowed themselves to shut out those responsibilities those burdens and focus solely on what was right in front of them and that was you, you gave them peace. 
you gave them that sense of tranquility. Now, what their outer turmoil was is going to be different for each and every one of you. I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of my free will and I now choose to be happy. 55. And five and a nine. One and four is a five. We have five, five, five right here. Taurus, there is change coming. I feel that this person is dealing with their issues so that they can take that leap of faith towards you. All right, let's see. Ego driven, yeah. Right here, we have outer turmoil and ego driven. My pride and my ego held me back and stopped me from being my true authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I'm afraid I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. This one, this person, they had fear in hurting you. They had fear in letting you down. All right, the energy that currently exists between Taurus and the person that they are in this reading for, that they are channeling towards me. I got to say, you know that this is my fall deck. And after Thanksgiving, it'll be put away until next year. And then I get out all of my holiday decks. The tower. So there might have been an ending. And it might have been very abrupt. It might have been something that you just did not want to happen. But I also feel the change that is coming is coming in. It's, it's something that takes you off guard. It takes you, you're shocked by it. Six of Pentacles, why are you shocked by it? Because it's a cosmic gift from the universe. A timeline shift is happening right here. King of Cups, someone coming in with their heart, with their cup completely overflowing with emotions. And I have to say, Taurus, you're here for this reading with this person. I feel your emotions are overflowing just as much as theirs is. You might have been very confident in where you were at at the time you were dealing with them and a little bit more forthcoming, forthcoming on your feelings and your emotions. Yes. All right. And it may be some time that you've been apart or in distance from this person. They're going through a lot of deep introspection. And they are making their way towards you. One by one, whatever this outer turmoil is, they're dealing with. They're trusting in this lantern, which is divine guidance. And the universe's guidance. So it may be slowly that they're making their way towards you, but they're coming. Like I said with Tower here, I really feel the moment that it happens, you're really not going to anticipate it. I, I also feel if you have the same friends or you're around the same social group, maybe even around coworkers, they ask about you. They're intrigued. They do want to get to know you deeper, even though they have some fear around it. It's not like they're completely separated from you. They're asking how you are. They're trying to find out what you've been doing and if you're okay. All right, let's see. Past, present, and future. The emperor. Divine masculine energy. So where they were ego-driven, they're coming in confident. They're making their plan on how to approach you. And with the ace of pentacles here, they've got long-term on their mind. If they were fearing, like if they seemed like they had commitment issues or they were fearing settling down, maybe they always said that, you know what, just commitment's not my thing. I, I just, I, I really don't know if I'm good at it. They're coming in now knowing they want that and they will be good at it. Nine of coins. Like I said, you do not see this coming. This is so much work that you've placed on yourself. Loving yourself first, taking it back to this card. 
doing you mentally, physically, emotionally. You're at a place where this person is in your mind, but it's not every day. It's not every moment. You've really spent some time, you know, focusing on you. Overall outcome. They're coming towards you. We do have two masculine energies here. For those of you that um, resonate with the same sex, does not have to be. But they're confident about what they have. They know they let you down. They know they didn't show up in the best energy. They know now that you, you do, you stand out to them. You're someone that they want to get through the challenges with. And that they trust opening up to. All right, Spirit. Please clarify the Nine of Coins. This person knows you are their wish fulfillment. All right, Spirit. And why? We have the Nine of Coins and the Nine of Cups. This is it. Coming in. Now, remember, in traditional tarot, there is a wreath in the Six of Wands hanging from the stem. For some of you, you are going to hear from this person around the holidays. Why the Nine of Coins spirit and the King of Coins as the overall outcome? Five of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, they think about you. You know, they thought that they weren't good enough. They thought they couldn't show up. But what they didn't realize is how they were going to feel when they were in separation from you. You're still always on their mind. Remember, I said they're still always asking about you for those that share the same social group or maybe even through work. The Ten of Wands is burdens, but it's also a breakthrough. Remember, it's like when you peak the tip of the mountain, it begins to unfold naturally. It's got one thing. It just takes that one thing to push it over the edge, right? And then it's it accelerates and everything starts falling into place. So this is the card of a breakthrough, of an opportunity coming. Now, we do have your energy here. So you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign. We also have that water energy that showed up immediately. But then we also have fire energy. It's possible you may have two people in your life. You know, and you're just wondering what's to come. You have to follow your heart. Who does your heart feel more driven towards in the moment? All right, let's get final messages. Spirit, additional clarity on where this connection is going between Taurus and their person. Stepping out of the comfort zone possible you've been in hermit mode also not putting yourself out there you know if you're loving on yourself and putting yourself first that may be your sole priority and you know just mingling being out and about maybe dating apps you're just shut shutting it all down so that you don't stray from focusing on yourself it's time to step out of your comfort zone yes the leap of faith. I felt the leap of faith with the critical juncture. I felt the breakthrough with the Ten of Wands. Yes, and look at this. Greater force helping you, helping them, Taurus. Greater force, divine timing. You've got the assistance from your spirit guides and the universe in this situation. All right, guys, final messages from this person to you, and then I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles. I wish I had been able to give you my whole heart. Things were moving way too fast for us. So they took the easy way out. They bounced. They know that that, that was something that sabotaged this. I will always remember you. 
That is no doubt. As I stated, they think about you constantly. All right, we'll take them. Sometimes I can be a very poor communicator. I regret not having the courage to fight for you when I had the chance. You are the reason I smile every day. Like I said, it's like keeping tabs on you. You know, looking at pictures that you've sent to them. Rereading messages that you've had through texts. Possibly even having a voicemail saved of you. Watching you from afar through social media. And you could say you block them. They can't look at their friend's phone. Look you up. If you have mutual friends, if you have co-workers, they are asking about you. And remember I said they're going to be very um, strategic. They are making that plan to come towards you. But what's sparking that plan are your divine spirit guides. In this person's thoughts and their emotions, they're manifesting movement forward with you. All right, let's get it. We have A, S, O, R, G, T, E, and then the rest are repeats. All right, G, O, A, S. Yeah, rest are repeats. All right, so do take what resonates. Leave the word grateful down below. Go ahead and subscribe so you could take part in these monthly giveaways and also get daily notifications. Um, the sale on Etsy that I spoke of, it's a cyber sale. It's for the holidays. I jumped on board with that. So there's multiple personal readings on sale right now. The sale ends at the very end of the first week of December. And in that moment, I'm going to catch up on all of my personal readings. Um... And I'm going to go down to only emergency readings for the month of December. I'm going to spend extra time on my YouTube channel and revamping my Etsy shop. And then I will begin, I'll reopen it right after the holidays. So like the very last week of December, last couple days of December, my Etsy shop will completely open up. But you still have that chance to take part in the, the sale that I have. All right. So much love and light. Like I said, happy Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate. Um, and so much love to each and every one of you.